I'm Dr Hilary Jones and uh, I'm very pleased to be part of ITV's Million Minutes campaign to support people who are feeling lonely. And we're talking about literally millions of people right now. It's been a very difficult year anyway with the pandemic. People are feeling anxious, people are feeling very down, um, worried about the future, understandably. Um, but there are many people who are already feeling lonely. The elderly, people who've been bereaved, people who don't have family, people who are in minority groups uh, who feel estranged, who feel um, separated from uh, the rest of society, people who are perhaps less mobile than others, people who've been retired, uh, changed their job, moved house to an area where they don't have many friends. It's important to distinguish between feeling alone um, and being lonely. Some people can be alone and feel quite happy and peaceful in their own uh, company, uh, in their own skin, other people feel lonely, even if they're surrounded by other people for one reason or another. And when you're feeling lonely, it's easy to feel more down and more depressed. And that in turn leads to you feeling uh, that you haven't got much self-esteem, feeling that you have less worth. And in turn, that leads to more mental health issues. So everything's connected. And what I would say to people is, look, you're not alone. Um, there are a lot of people feeling the same as you are. And we are a society, we're a big family. Even if you don't have close family, there are people who will support you, who do care. And it's about finding ways to connect. So I would say, first of all, boost your self-esteem. Tell yourself that you are um, important and you are. And do that by trying to connect with other people. Look after yourself as you would look after your friend. Um, and make sure that you are able to enjoy the hobbies that you've always enjoyed. Make sure that you give yourself a little bit of joy and pleasure every day. Spoil yourself a little bit. It's okay to do that. You should. Uh, get out and about. Go to places where there are other people, public places, parks, cafes. Um, we've just come out of lockdown and whatever tier you're in, you can still meet up with people and talk about the weather, talk about their dogs, talk about anything, but start the conversation. And I think the next thing you can do is to um, look for peer support. Are there any groups or classes that you can join? Because there will be folk with um, similar issues and problems to yourself. Um, I think another way is to try and make yourself feel happier through exercise. Exercise stimulates those happy hormones. So try and get some exercise in the fresh air if you can every day. I think some relaxation, breathing exercises helps to calm and relax you and breaks up stress. Um, sleeping adequately is important, getting enough sleep. And obviously your lifestyle has um, a significant impact on how you feel as well. So it's easy to look for comfort in alcohol or cigarettes or things like that, but they don't always do you any favors in the long term. So keep that in moderation. Um, and look at the healthier things, good diet, good food, spoil yourself a little bit. Um, and as I say, find company. If it's still difficult or if you're in a tier three or lockdown, then there are NHS apps you can go to, which are sort of self-help apps and keep you connected and give you ideas about um, avoiding loneliness. And uh, there are audio guides as well that you can listen to that will will cheer you up and make you feel a little bit more connected. But there are clubs like shed clubs for men where guys who are tradesmen can get together with like minded guys um, and, and and chat about their, their feelings. It's OK to do that these days. And, and women, too, find it easier to, to communicate their issues with with one another. And I would encourage people to join peer support groups, community groups or um, through charities like Mind, Age UK. There are plenty of good charities. So please try not to feel too lonely. Um, we've got something to look forward to now after this horrible pandemic year. We've got a vaccine that's just about to be rolled out, other vaccines on the way. So we're coming out of the tunnel. It's not even light at the end of the tunnel. We're coming out of it. And next year looks a lot brighter. So think positive, think about the good things, um, try to avoid the gloomy news, visualize happy things, either from the past or in the future, because the future is bright and we will get through this. So I'm wishing you, our viewers, a very happy Christmas and a very healthy and happier new year as well.
To pledge your time and to help us end loneliness, please visit itv.com forward slash one million minutes.